Good morning everyone. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today is December 26th and time check right now. It's 6 in the morning. You know what? When the typhoon happened or since the typhoon happened, I have just been waking up super early. Not because I got some things to do, but I think it's just my body telling me to wake up because, you know, there is a brighter tomorrow. And yeah, I have just been trying to be super positive since December 16th, since it happened. I'm trying to be strong also. Um, right now, I'm just alone here in my house. And you know, when I look at my house, it's just, it really hurts me so much. Like it breaks my heart. But yeah, I really have to accept it 100%. Um, sometimes when I'm just alone, I just like break down, you know, I just not good, right? But um, yeah, that's just me. Anyway, I slept in my mom's store last night and Papa was sleeping here in my house. And then my sister and fam, they were in their house as well because they had to clean a lot, obviously, from Scarlett's birthday yesterday. I'm so happy that we managed to give Scarlett a small birthday celebration. I know it's not what we've planned it to be, but with the help of my family, like my uncle, my mom, like everyone, my sister, um, everyone was very helpful, you know, to give Scarlett a good birthday at least. So um, she was very happy. And yeah, I'm just super grateful that, you know, all of my family are okay. We survived the typhoon and, you know, that's the most important thing. I... Huh? Sorry, Razzle was calling me because uh, she was asking me if I'm going to be heading to the city. Uh, she has to go back for work and then there is, you know, no available motorbike that they could ride uh, going to the city. And there was like a big truck. So yeah, I think they were able to go. So that's good. Anyway, so yeah, where was I last night? It was really fun. Um, uh, one of our neighbors got a guitar and yeah, they were just really like singing and yeah, it was super nice, you know. You can see how happy really Filipinos are like besides of all the challenges that we've been through and all. Um, we still really try to look on the brighter side that we are all alive. We just really had fun and it was super nice to witness, you know, my uncle, my cousin, they were all dancing. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna try to clean up a bit because it is it's already a mess and because of like stuff everywhere and we did a lot of cooking here for Scarlett's birthday
manage to clean up a bit here in the living area. I'm gonna take a rest for a bit and then I'm gonna clean the kitchen. There's a lot of mess in there, like I need to wash a lot of plates and so on. You guys can hear the roof or like being blown by a bit of wind as well. Anyway, so on December 24th, if you guys can remember, uh, we were all here, all family were here. Well, besides Papa because he was with my grandma. We celebrated Christmas Eve here and then we were grilling outside and then my sister was cooking here inside as well. It was really nice, um, you know, just spending time with my family. Unfortunately, it rained. That was the last thing that I want to happen during that night because I just really wanna, you know, celebrate Christmas without any problems and without any worries unfortunately it did rain um, I think that was because before that there was a lot of people that are saying that there was another low pressure that are coming here in Visayas and then on December 23rd they said that it already went out of the Philippine area of responsibility so I was pretty happy to hear that news but yeah it rained for I think 30 minutes and yeah we were flooding here but because we have this couch we were just you know pretty much staying here and I was actually wrapping my arms around Scarlett at this time and I was telling her Scarlett oh it's raining and she was like super sad and she was like telling me Tito is this gonna be another typhoon and I was like um no it's just gonna be rain and she started like her tears just started falling and it's not even like a cry like a baby cry it's like it's like an adult cry when you're you have like some emotions inside and you just can't hold your tears that's what i thought when i look at scarlet and i'm like biting my lips so hard because i just don't want to get emotional as well because i felt like she was really traumatized as well with what happened because she witnessed herself like what happened to us when um, the typhoon hit Cebu so yeah that was really crazy but good thing it stopped um, after an hour and yeah we still were able to celebrate Christmas it was probably the the darkest Christmas that we've ever experienced to be honest there was not much you know um, firecrackers there was no fireworks no nothing at all um but you know again the most important thing is we are all safe and that we are all together so yeah i just want to share that to you guys my battery is blinking again i have one battery left <sighs> anyway so um right now i'm gonna try to clean up in the kitchen i'm gonna wash a lot of plates <laughs> stop washing the dishes because I'm super hungry already my mom brought me some hot milk and biscuit there you go and I'm gonna try to cook some breakfast for today we've just been eating meat for the last few days actually I really wanted to have some vegetable this time
So over here, we had to manually get some water from the blue barrel of water outside. It's got a hose, the black one, if you guys can see. And then we are going to put it in the toilet so that we can have some water to flush if we like use the toilet and whatnot. So I just finished washing dishes, cleaning here in the kitchen as well. And then, by the way, I asked my cousin Jelvin to buy drinking water because we ran out of drinking water since last night. There is an extreme shortage of drinking water here in the countryside because obviously we still don't have electricity. And there's only, I think, one um, water refilling station that has a generator. And uh, yeah, it's it's really crazy. Because of that, um, he actually put the price up. Instead of the original price, which is uh, 25 pesos per blue gallon, now it went up to 70 pesos. That's a crazy high. But you know, we don't really have a choice because drinking water is very important, right? Yeah, anyway, right now we're gonna cook some breakfast. We're gonna have some eggs for today, I think, because this is almost expiring. Yeah, it's expiring pretty soon. So. terrace area this this is where we put the fridge just finished breakfast uh, with my cousin we're gonna have to remove all of the food that we have here in the fridge so that the fridge wouldn't stink I'm also gonna put some charcoal I think that's a hack um, so that your fridge if it's not turned on um, you just put charcoal inside so that it wouldn't stink um, remember me and my cousin went to the city before the typhoon and we prepared like a lot of food we had to get some groceries so these are the stuff that we got and obviously I didn't think that um, there's a possible um, electricity interruption so we're gonna have to remove all of it we have to dispose all of this we have here some bread and all of my butter and everything we have here eggs as well I think this egg is already expired we have some lemon here yeah, these are still okay, so we have to separate that from these ones. Finally, my sister is here. <laughs> and then they brought a lot of food from Scarlett's birthday last night. And Scarlett, she got some loot bags for the kids. Wow, what do you say, Budlot? Say thank you. Thank you. Uh, they're coming. We got three loot bags left. We're gonna give it to three kids. Oh, Janella is here. What do you say, Janella? Oh, uh, uh, Nicole. We give to Nicole as well. 
Okay. There, Panka. There's. Where's the little boy? We give it. Ah, Daniel. Salama. Okay, so we are here outside at the back of the house. This is the real situation. Look at that. So um, I decided to grab a rope. We have one over here. And then we have this blue tarp. Well, it's not blue. It's orange. So we have this one. Um, it started raining uh, earlier. So you can see my brother-in-law is there. Um, we are gonna try to temporarily put the blue tarp here in my bedroom because if it rains it floods going to the kitchen and the living area which is really bad um, we kept on cleaning like every day but yeah it's just being washed away um, again and again so we are gonna try to put a temporary tarp so that if it rains then it's not gonna be too wet so hopefully it will do so I am here in my water tank area. My water tank is over here. It's leaning. My brother-in-law is over there. We're gonna put the tarp. It started to rain. Fudge. This is the damage. We have to put the blue tarp over here as well because it's leaking here in the kitchen area. This is the kitchen area. And obviously, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Alright guys, we're using my phone right now because my batteries are all low bat. We are trying to figure out how we could put this tarp up. So they tied it with a rope. I have here my uncle and then my brother-in-law is on the other side. Papa is here. Stay there. Hold, huh? Okay, we are here in the water tank again. You see the blue tarp? That's okay. what we're gonna be hoping to put here. Come on.
is drizzling right now. I'm gonna give you a quick look of how did we manage to uh, put the blue tarp in the roof. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's drizzling super hard. Fudge. All right, I'm not gonna go into the water tank anymore. I think you guys can see it over here. We have an opening there, as you guys can see, but hopefully the rain's not gonna go that way. But yeah, that's how it looks right now. Hopefully, oh my gosh, it's raining right now. So I'm gonna get inside. You guys can see the rain is really coming here already. So that's how it looks. And then I'm gonna take you guys inside. How does it look? All right, let's get in. All right, so we get inside. It's already dark now here because um, obviously there's already some roof. There is a bit of wind. So hopefully the blue tarp's not gonna fly. So this is how it looks in my bedroom. As you guys can see, we did not we did not really clean here inside because there's no point at all. Um, when it's raining, it will just get washed away. So that's why it's very dirty. But this is how it looks here in the inside. And the blue tarp is going over there as well. Yeah. Uh, there's a bit of wind, but at least hopefully the rain's not gonna get inside here anymore I still have my luggage here as you guys can see. Hopefully the stuff inside the luggage are not wet But yeah, let's see if this blue tarp will hold Hopefully, please Got it? You didn't get that? There you go. 